Please be seated. At this time, I invite the children of the congregation to come forward for the children's message. We're going to go all the way up here. Field trip, yeah, seriously. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on up, kids. I know you don't usually get to come up here, except when you get married and a few other reasons. No, I want you to look up here at the altar. What do you see that's on fire? What are those things? Do you know? Yeah, Liam. Those are candles, right? How many of you have ever seen a candle before, right? All of you have seen a candle? It's pretty cool. This is a tongue of fire. And on Pentecost, all of the disciples had a little tongue of fire on top of their head. Just like that. Yeah. I know it looks a little odd, but that's the way that the Holy Spirit showed that He was with the disciples. Now, there were other things that happened on Pentecost too. A really loud wind. Yeah. And then the disciples started to speak in different languages. How many of you guys know a different language? You do? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, some of you, yeah. Some of you have had Spanish in school. Maybe your parents speak it and you can be bilingual. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, the disciples learned languages they had never known. <clears throat> and do you know why? It's so that they could tell as many people about Jesus as possible. And on that day, 2,000 people became Christians. That's pretty cool. Now, the Holy Spirit still works, and if you believe that Jesus loves you, then the Holy Spirit is in your heart. And the Holy Spirit helps you to believe and to do what God says, to listen to your parents. The Holy Spirit's pretty awesome. And He gives you the power to forgive people who maybe were mean to you. That's the Holy Spirit. Can you fold your hands? Dear Holy Spirit, normally we don't pray to you. We pray to Jesus and God the Father, which is just how you would like it to be. We can't see you, Holy Spirit, and yet we know that you are with us because you've promised to be there. You've promised to go with our words. Bless our work when we talk to other people about how much Jesus loves us and about how much Jesus loves them. Amen. You're excused to go to your Sunday school class walking slowly. 